so guys today we are going to start that a new new topic log box scenarios so in sap we have a separate topic is a log box what is a log box and what is the log box configurations okay so first i will i will show you what is this log box life cycle okay so this is a log box life cycle here so first i will explain what is a log box log box is a number it is a one one kind of that account number so the bank will provide the log box details to the company so here actually we have the standard process is there customers actually life cycle the log box scenario only for the customers we are using so here customer directly they can deposit the checks to the sap i mean our company okay so customers directly if you do any kind of the sales customers directly they can deposit the checks to the company this is a one scenario there is a one more scenario with the help of the log box using this log box scenario so we can reduce the time so here how the log box will work here the first the company suppose i have there is one sap there is one company which is using that sap so first the company will open one log box account in any kind of the bank okay suppose assume this is a hdfc bank so this company this company open one log box account in this bank account in this bank so automatically bank will provide the log box information it will contain account numbers and lo complete log box information like our savings account okay so first sap companies will open log box account in any kind of the bank then bank will give the log box account details so what we have to do at the time of the doing any kind of the sales agreement we will provide the log box information to the customers so now from at the time of payment instead of sending money directly to the, instead of sending checks directly to the sap company what the customers will do first they will deposit the checks to the log box okay so what is a bank work here automatically bank will convert the log box data log box check details to one one text document the text document is called bai2 file automatically bank will send the check information through bai2 file to the company here customer will customer will give the check customer directly is instead of sending the check to the company he will send the check to the log box so automatically bank will convert the data to text file the text file name is a bai2 file then the bank will send the text file to the sap company here we are working see we are fi consultant here so here what we have to do we, see whatever document we have received whatever text file we have received from the bank we have to upload the bai2 file to our sap server so automatically here we can clear the customer so this is the very very time it will reduce lot of time okay so here we are not doing any manual entries directly once if you upload the bai2 file directly we can clear the customer account so this is a complete log box life cycle so first what we are doing at the time of sales agreement we are providing our log box information to the customer then at the time of payment customer will send the checks to that log box log box so automatically bank is there so bank will convert the log box log box check information to bi2 file so with the so this file it will send to the sap company so automatically the company in in this company if you upload the file if you upload bi2 file in sap automatically we can clear the all customer open line items so this is a complete life cycle of the log box here so this is one of the most important scenario so in interviews you should know what is the log box what is the use of the log box so what is the life cycle okay so first i will give that uh, brief notes about this one so later we will go for that configurations
so this is like about that completely what is a lock box and what is a lock box life cycle process okay so here once if you upload the document in sap automatically system will clear the customer line items so to clear the customer items line items as a fi consultant we have to do some kind of the configuration so there is around seven steps are there so we will discuss the seven steps one by one okay so these are the configuration steps for that log box so we will discuss one by one so first first of all the log box purpose we had to create the house bank here so directly in fbjp i am creating this house bank <clears throat> 